Hello everyone, we hope you're well. Um, we had a two kilogram turkey crown. Uh, we all had dinners on Christmas day. We've had it with chips and we've still got a lot left. I mean, if you can see there, there's quite a bit of turkey there. We're gonna have this in a curry. I think it'll be great. But what it is, we thought we'd have the Chinese chicken curry only with turkey. Now, what we do for this, we've got the turkey we've got there, uh, we've got um, an onion chopped into cubes, um, we've got some peas there you see in the bowl, um, we're also putting uh, some mushrooms in it because we want to, that's not necessarily part of it but we love them. Right, now there's... Uh, two tablespoons of oil to go in this now that's just to like wet the pan but we'll give you a measurement you just put in what you like that's obviously just for when we cook it because this is going to be done on the induction hob now at the back there we've got chicken seasoning and i've put the bottles near the wrong ingredient look <laughs> the wrong way round. we've got um i think there was about a teaspoon of chicken seasoning uh, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Uh, oh, it's half a ah half a teaspoon of white pepper. So the chicken seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle that in. What I think it'll probably be more than a teaspoon. We'll see as we go along. Now that is all going in with the chicken. Now on the other side. If you can see all those ingredients, these are to make the Chinese chicken curry sauce. Now we've got one and a half cups of stock there. You can see in that uh, big container there and I've whisked that up. And then we've got one tablespoon of curry powder, uh, one teaspoon of Chinese five spice, uh, half a teaspoon of... Uh, turmeric powder you see that there? yeah you can in that little glass one uh, half a teaspoon of chili powder or you can use paprika but we've got chili powder there um well half a tablespoon of salt but we're a bit less than that i just put a bit of a a turn on the the salt cellar there now we've got one teaspoon of sugar that just sweetens it up um, we've got one teaspoon of corn flour and one teaspoon of plain flour. Now, all those ingredients I've put into that container, that uh, jug there, and whisked them together. So they're ready to go. So this is going to be fairly easy now. So all I'll do now is get the induction hob out, get the frying pan on, and uh, we'll get cooking. And I can bring you back then. Right, now I've brought you back because this is our fried rice that we do in the pressure cooker. Now we've done this for years with different pressure cookers, but we're going to do it with the kasore. I don't think we have already, but it's what we're having with this curry. So I thought I'd just run you through it again. Now, what we've got here, you can see it all in front of you, but we've got, we'll use about a tablespoon of oil just to wet the bottom of the, the pot. And then we'll add a diced onion that you can see on the right hand side there. Um, and there'll be about a teaspoon of lazy garlic. I mean, it's one to two cloves, but we use that garlic, that lazy garlic. I ain't got that out, still in the fridge. Right, better, better remember that. And there's a couple of beaten eggs there. Um, we'll put them in as well. And there's 250 millilitres of basmati rice and that's there on the left look there's 375 millilitres of chicken stock which you can see on the left at the back um, we've got 250 millilitres of peas somewhere near there just there the peas are look now i haven't mentioned the soya sauce have i there's 60 millilitres of soya sauce there so that's about four tablespoons right so um 
don't know how I'm going to show you this because this, ang this angle here is not very good. You're not going to be able to see in the pot, are you? I'll have to see what I can do and I'll bring you back. Right, there's a different angle. This might help. Let's make a start. First of all, a couple of tablespoons of oil in there. Now what we're going to do, huh, now you can't see this bit because I've put you on the top. <laughs> That's typical, mate, you can't win, can you? Right, now we want this switching on. Always a good idea to plug it in, Graham, when you have to start. Get it switched on. And what we're looking for is, when I can find it, saute. Right. Now we're going to saute this, so first of all, let's get the onion in there. Right, and the lazy garlic, which Graham has left in the fridge. Let's, uh, Said we want uh, about a teaspoon. Oh, things are getting desperate on the garlic front. Put that in the pot and get what's, what's left of that. That's what we use. Look, I've shown you hundreds of times. Look, let's get that uh, back in the fridge. Right now, we're just waiting for this to warm up. I'll bring you back. Right now this has had a couple of minutes and we're going translucent so I'm happy with that. I think what we can do now is tip the egg in and what we do is scramble that egg and we'll just get this egg scrambled. It's very simple really this is. The thing is, we've not had it for a little time and you start questioning yourself all the time. <laughs> no, this is what this is what we want. We want this egg to scramble with this onion. We like it like this. Right. So all we need to do then, we can actually that's scrambled okay there, so we can actually turn that off for the moment and what we'll do we get the stock in here. There's the stock gone in. And then uh, we get the rice in. As I say 250 millilitres I measured on there with the rice and obviously basmati rice we wash it as many times as you like I actually did this uh, three or four times right let's get that mixed in and then the 60 millilitres of uh, soya sauce now that doesn't look anything at the moment does it but it will that will be fantastic. Get that all mixed up. Now the peas, I don't put in till the last minute when it's about finished. So uh, what I'll do now, I'm going to move this onto the other side and we'll set this for 10 minutes. Actually, I'll do it now while we've got the camera in the right spot. Although we haven't, have we? Let's get the lid on. Get the lid on here. Now you line up the orange dots with the cassora and it automatically seals. So that's fine now, that's ready. Right, I'll change the camera angle and show you switching it on. Right, I brought you back just so you can see this being switched on. As if you don't know how to switch it on. Come on Graham. I'm a little bit in my own light here. So what we want now is pressure cook 
and we want this to be 10 minutes. That's about right for this rice. So press start. We'll leave it on the keep warm function because um, I'm not sure whether the turkey will be ready or not in 10 minutes. Probably not. But that's that bit sorted out now. So uh, I'll bring you back when we're finished. Right, I've brought you back now because we're going to get the chicken on. Let's get this pan on. A little bit of oil in there. All we're really trying to do at this stage is warm this turkey through. Let's just get this. Let's get this tipped in here. There we go. Oh, there's quite a bit there, isn't there? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> well, Wendy did say she was hungry. Oh, let's get moving this about using one of my new little green spoons. Look, it's just um, this um, turkey is already cooked. As I say, it's what we've got left now. There is quite a bit of here, uh, quite a bit here left over, but we've got no problem with that. We can always have this tomorrow as well, but I do feel there's a good chance we're going to eat this. Right, now as that's warming through, let's get the stock in here. So, white pepper, and the soy sauce. Now this is going to be a real, um, I think we've overdone it here. <laughs> I, I always feel we should do the onion a little first, but Wendy says not. She wants it all in together. Now, to be fair, we do quite like a crunchy onion. So, uh, I think we've overdone it a little today here. Now, we're going to have to get this um, well heated up and get it all mixed in. I fear this could take a good few minutes. But if you see already, look, you're getting that colour up. If I um, get some from the bottom, you can see already, look, it's mixing in a tree. Now, I can't help thinking we've ever done this, but it's got to be out. Right. Well, it's looking all right already. Now, just the thing is, I've just got to get this nice and hot. Now I'll keep stirring this every few minutes, but we have actually got a cover. <laughs> Sorry, that was the white onion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, the white pepper. It's alright, I'm looking for something again. And it's had a big move around. Right. She's done me again, mate. We've got a cover to go on here, and I will find it, but I'm going to have to ask you where she's put it. Right, I've just brought you back to show you. I think we're going to have to put the extractor back on in a second, but look, that's, that's boiling away now. So what we'll do, it's going to cook through a treat now. So what I'm going to do is turn it down. Look, at, we're getting the colour already, look. rather a lot in that pan. Never mind, let's get the cover on. 
and we'll turn it down so it has a bit of a, a simmer I'll bring you back in a while right now I'll just bring you back again to see how we're going and as you can see it's going lovely actually now we may need to thicken this up a little but we're not finished yet We'll let that, it's had a good few minutes bubbling away so we'll let it carry on perhaps at this stage see what it's like oh that tastes all right to me already <laughs> that's lovely i'm sure that'll be fine right we'll just put this lid back on and let it bubble away for a little bit longer and I'll bring you back <clears throat> right we'll bring you back again I'm just going to give it another stir because I feel personally keep moving it around it all gets chance now as you can see the sauce it tastes all right but it's very wet look so I think we'll need to make a corn flour, and I don't like the word. So we'll, <laughs> a tablespoon of corn flour in a tablespoon of water. And then we'll see how that's looking. But we'll give this a little longer. But at this stage, we're going to add the peas these were frozen starting to thaw well, there's still some ice in there I can see let's get those mixed in now I mean the peas take no cooking this is fine so uh, right I'll go away and make my slurry and then bring you back Right, I've brought it back now. Look, we've got the peas here. I'm going to just turn it all over again. That's ready. That's as good as ready now. Ready to go. But what we're going to do, look, you can see it's a little runny that is. So what we'll do, just for a start, just put it couple of tables I'll tell you what let's go three three tablespoons in there just mix it up and just keep an eye on it see how it thickens up give it all a good mix round I'll tell you what by the time we've done this mate I'm hang Marvin I really am can't wait to get into this now that's thickening up. I don't know whether you can see that, but that has thickened up. I still think we could do with a little bit more though. Let's try another one. It's all a little bit trial and error with this. leave that on now that's fine let's just let that bubble away for a few minutes and I'll check on the rice and get it out I'll bring you back right now there's our two dinners let me just taste the rice for you I know what it's going to be like it's going to be fantastic <laughs> Oh jeez, that chicken fried rice. I flattened that down a bit, look. It looks like it's stuck, but it's not. Look at that, look. Look, look at the texture of that. That's beautiful. And this is a Chinese curry. Oh, yeah, let's go for a big bit of turkey. Come on. Mmm. 
Oh no, that's excellent. Well done, Graham. <laughs> Even if I say so myself. Now, we're not messing about here, we're getting a bit hungry. So me and Wendy's going to eat this dinner now. Do I need to come back to you? I'm not sure. But if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share. And if you'd like to comment, that's great. I love it. I really do. So look after yourselves and we'll see you soon. I'm telling you, this is really nice. It seems a bit of effort, but it's worth it. Right. Bye.